I'm so happy to introduce you to Quatli, who is uh, a very, very impressive master that I've worked with. And I want to bring some of his knowledge to you. So I, I, I let you maybe introduce yourself, it's better. Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Quatli, mm -hmm. an indigenous person from um, Mexico, northern Mexico and Texas. And um, my official title right now is the uh, Roadman of the Native American Church. We have a chapter called Teocali Quetzalcoatl. And um, I started in peyote about 50 years ago and been conducting Native American church ceremonies for about 30 years, among other practices. And uh, right now I'm here in Ibiza traveling on a Euro European tour, we're going to visit several countries um, with my companion, and we're doing peyote ceremonies where I happened to meet my good brother Loic uh, <laughs> last week. So, teach me something. Um, well, be positive. All right, let's talk about this one. All right. When I was 14 years old, uh, my family had a breakup. And I moved in with my grandmother and my uncle, who was single at the time. Mm -hmm. And I, he had an extensive library. And one of the books in his library that I read when I was 14 years old was a book called The Power of Positive Thinking mm -hmm. by an author named Norman Peale. Now, this book was based on kind of like a Christian philosophy. But the essence of this book was, if you think positive, you will manifest positive things. And when I was... In high school, I was um, in the United States, native people, you know, people from other countries, people of African American descent, are tracked into um, remedial courses. Mm -hmm. And they're not geared for mm -hmm. college courses. Yeah. Their curriculum is like, you know, arithmetic instead of algebra, things like this. No, I wanted to go to college, I wanted to go to the University of Michigan. And so I, I used this power of positive thinking to, to say, no, I am going to go to university. I'm not going to become just a, a day laborer like, all, like a lot of my family was. You know, we worked in the agriculture industry, the automobile industry. No, I, I set my sights to go to the university. I graduated with uh, honors and I received a full plate scholarship to the University of Michigan, the first person in my family to do so. Just by thinking positive. Like so we, how do we, how can we be positive when shit happens? I had a construction company. And about 10 years ago, a homeless person built a fire in the alley and, and burned my entire business to the ground. Okay. I took the opportunity to collect the insurance money and I could have tried to reconstruct my business but instead, I listened to the fire, and the fire said that I should focus more on doing ceremonies and take these ceremonies around the world. So I used this opportunity to purchase a lot of uh, peyote and start traveling, and this is what I've been doing. So you turned a, a disaster, burning your house and whole business, your yeah. whole business yeah. into a, a, liber a very liberating and... I mean, now where I'm here in Ibiza, I travel all around the world. I've been to 40 countries since then. So teach teach us how 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 you know things like like this happen all day long. Someone upsets you, someone I don't know, or there is something bad that happens to you that doesn't have to be burning your whole business. Mm -hmm. How can you always turn? You you told me it's easier to think positive than getting into the negative. So it's, how how do you think like? Uh, yeah. My mantra is impeccable positive. Impeccable positive. Yeah. So every time something happens, there is a, a positive side to it and there's a negative side to mm. it. And you can choose to focus on either. Um, we have a saying in Spanish, que no hay mal que por bien no venga. There's not a bad thing that happens that's not for a good reason. <laughs> okay. We'll do the next one.